geographical features and prehistory of India. In this module, you will learn about impact of geographical features in Indian civilization, prehistoric age, findings on prehistoric implements, findings on prehistoric residential and industrial sites, findings on the use of fire and cave drawings, discovery of animal husbandry and farming in prehistoric age, stages of the prehistoric age, Human history has been influenced by geographical environment. Hence, let us take a look at the geographical features of India and understand its importance in civilization. India is surrounded by the Himalayas and the Indo-Gangetic in the north, the Deccan Plateau in the south and the coastal region. The mountains preserve the safety and security of India and fertile Indo-Gangetic plains led to the development of Indus Valley and Vedic civilizations. The Narmada River separates India into two, Malwa Plateau or Central Highlands and the Deccan Plateau in the south. The Mauryas and the Guptas ruled these two areas of ancient India. The Indian coastline is vast and stretches over 6,100 kilometers. The numerous ports on this coastline attracted the Romans as foreign trade was carried on only through sea routes in those days. Thus, these ports developed and became the cause for the rise of powerful kingdoms in the south, like the Pandyas, the Cheras, and the Cholas. The period before the discovery of the art of writing is called the prehistoric age, as there are no written records of this age for the study of history. Archaeologists have discovered that man in the prehistoric age was a nomad and he indulged in hunting and food gathering. The relics of the hunting and food gathering man are available in Bhim Bedka, Hunasagi and Kurnool in India. Archaeologists have discovered the prehistoric implements made of wood, stone and bones. Stone implements have been used to peel the skin and separate the flesh and bones of animals, to scrape the bark of trees, to cut fruits and roots or, like axes, to chop down trees. Bones and wood have been used to create handles and use them like spears and arrows to hunt animals. Since stone implements were essential for the survival of people of the prehistoric age, they chose areas abundant with stones which could fulfill their needs. Areas where people use stones to create various implements have been believed to be industrial sites as heaps of broken rocks used for creating implements have been found here. It is also believed that people lived in these areas for a long time. Hence, these sites are called residential and industrial sites. Archaeologists have obtained ashes in the caves of Kurnul. This reveals the awareness and the use of fire by the people of the prehistoric age to cook food, for light and for safety from animals. Also, Drawings of wild animals and of hunting have been found on the walls of caves and on rocks. Even today, cave drawings can be seen in sites located in Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Karnataka. It is believed that 12,000 years ago, a major change took place in the world's environment which led to the gradual increase in the Earth's temperature. This led to the development of grasslands in many places and birds and animals began to multiply in unprecedented numbers. Man who had been hunting animals till then started observing their nature, food habits and how these animals reproduced. 
gradually men captured these animals and the practices of animal husbandry and dairy farming began along with animal husbandry men also learned to fish in streams and lakes man had noticed how some grass bearing grains grew naturally man learned to use them as food grains and cereals like rice wheat and barley were obtained from such plants gradually he learned to grow these crops and thus the practices of farming began in the prehistoric age the age which prevailed 2 million years ago is the oldest age and is called the old stone age it stretched over a period of 12000 years this long duration has been broken into three stages namely the early stone age middle stone age and late old stone age now let us take a look at each of these stages in detail the period from 12000 years to around 10000 years is called the middle stone age during this age small and delicate stone implements and handles have been made from delicate stones for weapons the new stone age began after 10000 years the stone weapons made during this period were bright and had sharp blades people of this age used grinding stones for grinding leaves and herbs and for powdering grains and cereals some pots and pans of this period have been found some of which have been decorated people of this age also weaved cloth let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on geographical features and prehistory of india